the Champions League knockout stages are upon us and I thought I'd make a video, you know, trying to go into more details on the team and who I think win. Okay, I already did a TikTok on like, oh, who do I think win? But I didn't go into enough detail. Um, and there are certain teams I would like to talk about. And I would like to say one thing. Um, these games have me so excited. Um, the level of like football we've seen in this Champions League has been amazing. Um, I don't know if it will top last season. I'll be honest, because last season is going to be hard to top, especially that final. Um, that final, I think, is the greatest Champions League final I've watched. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but it is. Um, so yeah, I hope this Champions League can go above uh, last season's. But you know, a girl can dream. Now the first game to be played is Ajax versus Chelsea, which is a game I'm quite excited for. The way that Ajax have been looking, they've been looking really strong. Um, Ajax, they've sort of been like these underdogs. I know I'll say underdogs a lot because we got Brown, we got Heckin. Um, but I feel like the, these are the real ones because um, they went into a group that was incredibly tough. Uh, Bayern, Roma, PSG and Ajax. Most people, me included, assumed that Ajax weren't getting out of that group. Ajax aren't getting out of that group. It'll be PSG and Bayern. They got out of that group, and they got out of that group comfortably. Uh, their first game in the Champions League was against PSG at their home, which they won. Um, I think it was 2-0. It, it was a very easy win for them. Um, and they've got such good talent, a mix of old talent and a mix of young talent. Obviously, you've got Spitzer, who is their captain. You should know her. She's a, she's a she she's an icon. Um, no, Netherlands captain. I don't know if she still is. I think she still is the Netherlands captain. Um, but attacking wise, they look amazing. Obviously, when I say young talent, I'm not talking about twenty year olds. Yes, I will be talking about a couple twenty year olds. Sixteen, Johannes. How are you sixteen? Yeah, and playing in the Champions League. I don't know. I don't know. She's sixteen. And she looks so good um, already. Um, I was worried for Ajax. I was like, oh, sh should you really put that their many youngsters on the on the team? Oh, if they're dodgy. Nah, they're fine. Also, defensively, they're really sound defensively. Yes, there are certain games um, where they have their off days. I'll be honest. Sometimes it, it wasn't all smooth sailing for Ajax. It wasn't like, oh, they just battled every single team. They had their off days. But that's expected. That's expected. To lose to PSG, it, it was expected. Um, but I think they'll give a real tough challenge to Chelsea, especially... Uh, the way they play those balls over the top. I don't know Chelsea's defence isn't the greatest as of now. I don't know if Millie Bright will be back by then. I don't actually know. Um, but those balls over the top could could be a, a killer to, to Chelsea. But yeah, they look like a really exciting team to watch. And I am excited for this match. Chelsea um, started the Champions League a bit shaky. I'll be honest with you. I think everyone thought it was going down um, after, obviously, the Sam Kerr ACL. I thought everyone was like, you know what, give up, give up. Give up the Champions League. We don't need it. But to be fair, they've looked quite decent. Um, they had a really good transfer window. Um, they got Bjorn, obviously. They got Ramirez. Um, I think Ramirez is going to be excellent uh, for Chelsea. She, she always has been excellent. Um, the fact that people are only just realising she's really good. Um, obviously... They're not trying to replace Sam Kerr because you, you physically cannot replace Sam Kerr. Um, but they still have so much talent like going forward, so much. I can't, oh, should I talk about Lauren James? Excellent. I, I already made a video on her. You guys know my opinions on her. Um, the only problem I will say with Chelsea is that defence. Um, we see it many a time in a match. Um, and they get away with it because because they are, they are quite good attackingly. But that defence... It can, it can be taken advantage of. Um, they, they look a bit shaky in that defence. I don't know who they'll start there. Um, sometimes, like, for example, I think it was the United match who had Bjorn losing the ball in positions where she can't be using the losing the ball. Um, and their defence looks a bit like, oh, should you have done that? Um, but to be fair, you have players like Hannah Hampton who have, have been excellent for Chelsea. She's been absolutely excellent for Chelsea. Um, so I can't really critique Chelsea um, that much on their defence because so far uh, in the in in this season, yes, there's been some shaky moments, but they got away with it. They got away with it. Um, also, they are <laughs> sorry. VAR will be back for these these matches. I forgot. To, sorry, I said VAR, and the first thing I could think of was the Real Madrid match. That's that's what I meant. I was like I was like the Real Madrid match, and VAR will be back. That is just a reminder. So. Those on signs on sides will count. You you have to you have to make sure they stay on side. This is a proper match. Um, I think this is going to be a really good match. Ajax versus Chelsea. Um, I, 
I think Chelsea will win it. I think that's my thing. I think Chelsea will win it 3-1 over the two legs. Um, but I think Ajax will give it a go. And I'm quite excited, excited to see Ajax give it a go. Really, I am. I am. Now we go to the other side. Yeah, because I'm doing it in order of the matches being played. Um, I know Maybe I should have put Brown versus Barcelona here, but I, I'm doing it in order because the first ever match being played is Ajax versus Chelsea. Then we go to Benfica versus Leon. Benfica. You moved me. I would like this to be known. Benfica moved me ever since the first game. Um, their first game was against Barcelona. And yes, they did lose that match. I would like it to be known. They lost it. They lost it. But they looked really good against Barcelona in the first match. And I was like, I hope they go in. I hope they go through just because of how they performed. Um, and they did go through. And obviously, when I think of Benfica, the first match you're thinking of is that match against Barca. The 4-0 four, four draw for both of them. They went toe to toe with Barcelona, and any team that goes toe to toe with Barcelona is strong. Um, they they could have they could have sat there, they could have sat back, and they could have gone, oh, you especially can concede them first. They can see, I think they can see the two goals first, and then you know you could have just sat back and go, oh, let's hope this isn't a battle win. But they didn't. They 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 defended incredibly well. Um, and this is I know people will say, oh, but Barcelona they weren't playing the strong side. They were. They were playing a very strong side. Um, and Benfica, they knew what they were doing attackingly wise. They took their chances. They got it. And I think they're going to be a real test for Leon, um, especially considering for some weird reason. I know I'm talking about Leon here, but for some weird reason, Leon have all, all of a sudden they've gained this weird thing where they can't be clinical. What, 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 they gained that sort of overnight um, after their like 9 nil win. They were just like... Guys, maybe we should stop scoring. Anyway, Benfica, um, they, they look like a really, really strong team. Um, it's going to be a struggle uh, for Leon. it will. When I say European powerhouse, the first thing you should think of is Leon because that, that, that is what they are. They're, they're a European powerhouse. Um, they're amazing, they're immense. Um, their first ever game in the Champions League uh, this season, they won 9-0, um, especially considering last season wasn't good for them. For Leon's standards, it really wasn't good for them. I mean, number one, losing to Arsenal. How are you losing to Arsenal, but then also losing to Chelsea? You know that's just embarrassing, man. That, that, that has a little bit embarrassing. So, so they're on the they're on the run, um, and they've got the talent to do it. They, their forwards are oh, they're so good. Their forwards, um, they're so attackingly minded. One thing I would say, I don't really know when Wendy Renard um is coming back from her injury because obviously she's got an injury. Um, she's been injured for quite a while now. I don't know if she's going to come back because you can tell they're missing her. Um, she is sort of like a rock in that defence. She sort of adds, you know, that stability there that they, they've sort of not really had. Um, I've been watching a couple of their league matches. I think especially PSG. There are certain goals. They, 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 they lose the ball quite easily sometimes, Leon. Like, they'll try to do too much. And if they can't score, they get really like, oh, oh, what should we do now? Um, and they'll lose the ball. And they, they are open in the back. They, they leave so many spaces open. And the right ball and the right attacker can score um though you have to argue you know leon they've got enla who who in my opinion is one of the greatest um goalies she, she is absolutely immense she she is really good she makes like these hard things look really easy um but yeah leon have the talent they have the talent to win the champions league is if they show up because there are certain matches where you sat there and you thought leon you should be winning this you should be battering them seven nil yeah the, the i know the, but this isn't you leon come on now we stay on that side and we go to Hekin versus PSG. Big up Hekin. Um, yeah, guys, Hekin versus Braun final is, is what, what we're saying. Anyway, Hekin, they had quite a, a tough group as well, I will say. They had quite a tough group. Um, they had Madrid, um, Chelsea and Paris. So now, now, Chelsea, incredibly tough. Real Madrid, eh, not that tough as Real Madrid. But to Hekin, it might be, uh, but still not that tough. Paris FC. They were going to be everyone's underdogs, um, but no, they 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 can only perform against Wolfsburg and Arsenal, which which is which is quite fun. Anyway, they beat Real Madrid twice, um, considerably amount of times, um, and they also beat Paris, and they also held Chelsea to a nil nil draw, which is quite impressive considering the attacking quality that Chelsea have defensively. They're amazing. I feel like that's one thing about all of these quote unquote underdog teams, um, that defensively. They are they are really really sound. Um, and on their day they were amazing. It's not like oh you know they just got lucky they got lucky goal they got they got easy penalty. No, defensively they they are immense. And I think that's going to be the struggle uh, for. People.
PSG, um, toughest group. They had the toughest group. Obviously, we talked about it with the Ajax group, Bayern, Roma, Ajax. Um, and the, PSG was such an odd team. They're like Leon to me. Um, sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're really bad. Um, they have their on and off days. Uh, they lost to Ajax, didn't they? They 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 looked really bad against certain teams. And you're like, ah, that's the team. But then you look at them against other teams and you think, yeah, yeah, that, that's PSG. I think against Bayern as well. Um, they 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 have a mindset that they want to win, but then sometimes that mindset sort of just disappears. Um, they've got a lot of talent. They've got a lot of talent, but they have laps in judgments. They make stupid mistakes that can lead to a lot bigger things that you say. You think you could have avoided that. Like like that was so easy to avoid, and and you didn't. Um, so I think that's PSG's struggle. I think PSG should win this. They should win this against Ekin. They've got the talent. They've got the quality. Um, the question is whether they do. Um, they can't make any silly mistakes in the back. They can't sit there, play around and go, ooh, and then go, oh, we just conceded a goal 90th minute, oops. You know, they, they they can't be doing any of that. I've left the best till last, Brown versus Barcelona. I think this is probably the match that I think I could 100% guess. No offence to Brown. Sadly, I think it's Barcelona. Um, Brown, yes, I want Brown to go through, guys. I, I want the underdog story. I don't support any of these teams. I want the underdog story, but I don't think they will. Um, it would be amazing if they did. You know, granted, yes, they held Leon to a draw. That, that's excellent. Holding Leon to a draw is an accomplish, but it's 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 it, it it's Barcelona. You have to face. That's the problem. Uh, defensively, they they are they're decent. Not not the best sometimes. Yes, against Leon, they sort of they don't show fear. They, they they don't show fear, um, which I will say is one big thing. But Barcelona like to they 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 they're really good at that. And also this is a two legged thing as well. And like I feel like maybe Bron could get away with it. Um, a cheeky one nil win, one legged, not two legged. Um, it's a shame because I want Bron to win desperately. It would be so good if, if Bron um would win. But that's life, sadly. Um. Barcelona, they're, they're Barcelona, they look like, it, it's in March, so they look like they're getting a lot of their people who've come back from injury as well, Rolfa looks like she's going to be back by then, um, I don't know if Alexia will be back by then, but yeah, I'm so sorry, I, 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 Bron, any Bron fans out there, um, it looks it looks bad, it looks bad, I think one thing to say about Barcelona is that you have to hope you get them on a, on a day where sort of they've been overworked. Because that is one thing, one advantage Brown have over Barcelona is Barcelona will be overworked constantly up until these points. Constantly they'll be overworked. Um, they're playing so many games, so many. Um, you have to hope that this is an off game, but I don't think it will be because I think they'll put their strongest line up because they, they want the Champions League, don't they? They also have like a lot of defenders coming back from injury. I think Rolf is a big one. Um, I don't know when Yana Fernandez is coming back. I don't know about her. She's, that woman's been injured for five years. And also, if you sit there and you go, OK, but, but those players are injured. They'll like pull out some academy product that you've never met before, you've never seen before, but they're the next uh, Rachel. Sorry, I don't know. I, I'm go. I think I was just looking at cinnamon buns, and then I I thought of Rachel. Anyway, I'm so sorry to Brown fans. Apologies. Um, I really want you to win this, but in my heart, I can't say you will. Sadly. So that is all the games in the Champions League. All four games they'll be happening in March. Um, taking place. I'm quite excited. I'm quite. Excited. I'm really excited for that. Actually. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been away. So yeah thank you for watching you have any suggestions leave them down in the comments you have any thoughts on Braun and about how good they are please leave them down in the comments um yeah subscribe i'm so sorry i'm begging i feel like i have to anyway thank you thank you for watching um goodbye